Hey guys, Rambly Bob here again. I just wanted to make a special video. So uh, one of the subscribers asked a question and one of the other subscribers answered it with a really bad answer. So I deleted that comment because that comment literally could have got somebody hurt or possibly electrocuted. Um, it, it has to do with uh, uh, solar generators, guys, with batteries. And uh, he asked me, can you put like this one and you know the like the smaller one or two of these and two of these together in parallel and you know use them at higher voltage uh, or a power output as far as in, you know the inverters guys don't do this this is extremely dangerous if not possibly deadly um if the power station does not have parallel hookups which is a very special circuitry that's built inside these things to allow either the voltage to go up or the power to go up or you know whatever they design it for don't uh mod or rig these things guys you could really really have a lot of problem um the 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 fellow who recommended it um he might not have a lot of experience with uh voltage and uh, you know circuitry and electronics and uh he said that he saw on gavin's garage that you could put multiple generators together now yes that is true gavin's garage is a, a awesome youtube channel i watch gavin a, a lot but Gavin focuses 99% on gas generators. And that's what he was talking about is getting a parallel cable and putting two generators together. That is a gas generator. There's not many systems out there that you can parallel like that when it comes to batteries. Uh, unless you get special ones like EcoFlow, you can put them together to get 240 volts. Or I believe Blue Eddy, the AC300 and the AC500 do. Uh, but you need a, a serious power station, guys. Not that these are toys. It's just you need very special circuitry and very special design to be able to up the voltage like that because if you don't understand electricity guys really ask a lot of questions and if you can't get the answer from me we could all help each other um like i'm making this video i just don't want to see anybody get hurt try all the stuff obviously that you see on this website at your own risk but guys don't try to parallel these batteries together in any way unless you're sure of what you're doing because like i said this little 24 volt battery can put out 80 amps and i guarantee that if you get hit with that you will never forget what 80 amps feels like it, that hurts a lot um so uh and 24 volts doesn't feel good either uh, i mean a car battery can knock you out so uh this is double a car battery and then you know uh not as many amps but still 80 amps that's a lot of power guys um, if you if your system allows you to parallel uh, like I said, that's the cable he was talking about uh, when I had mentioned that you know you, you don't want to put these together in parallel um, you know there's like split phase and all this other stuff and two phase and three three phase there's many different styles of electricity guys as far as how you hook them up and it really could end up in a bad way um, hospital or possibly even worse um, so please don't don't play with parallel cables with solar unless the system specifically says and is designed for parallel voltage increase up to like 240 volts and stuff like that um yeah like even uh, maybe he didn't understand about resistance as well when you have battery packs and they're you know it's not like two batteries inside here is many small batteries hooked up in a, a certain configuration whatever they design and if you have um, too many hooked up, the resistance of the uh, transference of energy can heat up and burn up stuff, and then you could possibly start a fire. So I uh, I can't remember who uh, put that comment up, uh, but I, I just saw it. I just want to make a video uh, so people are safe out there. Uh, as I said, don't play around with this stuff, guys, if, you, if you're not comfortable or familiar with it. Um, I tinker with it, but I do it at absolutely my own risk. So everything that I do, uh, like, you know, when I modded the cables, that is 100% at my own risk. And I could have got, you know, possibly shocked or, or worse, uh, you know, modding cables like this. But I took that into my own hands and, you know, uh, um, basically did that myself. Um, the wonderful thing is it turned out good, but it very, very, very simply it could have turned out bad, guys. And, I, you know, I could have either wrecked my system, shocked myself, or even worse, start a fire or something like that. I have very, very little uh, knowledge with this stuff. I'm learning as quick as I can. Um, I'm willing to take the risk. 
so you guys don't have to. That was the entire purpose of this channel, is to everyone get together and help everybody learn before somebody makes that bad decision and tries to put a parallel cable between two of these. Um, I remember the fellow's name who, who le uh, left the comment. Like I said, I deleted it. I don't want bad information like that out there. Uh, normally, I don't delete any comments. Uh, it's an open forum. But that one, I think, is a dangerous comment because he um, confused gas generators or much bigger systems like the AC300 and the AC500 or the uh you know the the larger eco flow systems and stuff like that where you can double that voltage and have more power coming out other than that guys do me a favor be safe stay healthy and i'll see you again on rambling bob reviews thank you do me a favor guys like this video and thumbs it up um or th thumb it up or whatever they call it just so other people see us i think it's a very important safety video okay guys thank you and i'll see you again bye